Nadine Angerer, I'm not sure we should be doing this interview without a hat on you anyway, but let, <laughs> let's, let's go for it. You announced your retirement before this most recent uh, World Cup that was played. You obviously, with your uh, beloved country of Germany once again, why the announcement then? How are you feeling right now as you get very, very close to shutting the door on a marvelous career? Still very good. Um, <laughs> yes, now I, I, I had a very good career, and uh, but the most important thing is that I'm still very healthy, and uh, I had so much, uh, so much success, and uh, so much, or I have so much good memories. So I think it's the the best uh, uh, time to retire, and especially in Portland, uh, also the best place to retire. To retire. Obviously, that uh, home finale is on Sunday. I'm not sure if you've given that some thought, if you're just going to let the emotion come to you when you step out onto the pitch, but it is going to be something, a full house, yeah. and folks are going to be singing your name. Uh, yeah, uh, it, like I said, it's the best place to retire, uh, to retire here in Portland, and uh, I, I'm glad uh, um, that, that, that we have a home game, um, that it's sold out. And uh, yeah, actually, I think it will be very emotional. When you first began your career here in Portland, obviously this is your second season with the Thorns, when the city fell in love with you and you with the city, how much has that touched your heart? A lot of people ask me, uh, can you imagine to live here in America? And I said, oh, I don't know if I can live in America, but I'm pretty sure I can live in Portland. Mm. I, I, seriously, I love Portland and uh, I always feel like so welcome here and uh, I, feel, I feel like really at home here. And, uh, I think I will be really, really sad uh, when I go back uh, to Germany. I, uh, don't misunderstand me, I really, really like Germany, but I really feel home here in uh, Portland. Here comes Lloyd. Ball through, Wambach at her best right here. Knocked away by Andrew. All the experiences you've had, have you seen the women's game grow since uh, you first began playing, since you really put on that professional cap? Where has this game gone and how has it grown? That's a good question because I, I played, for example, 20 years in the national team and, uh, and I remember uh, when, how we started and where we are now. It's, uh, like, it's incredible how the women's soccer um, uh, developed. Um, uh, yeah, the game developed, but also everything uh, around the game developed the, the, the structures got so much better and uh, yeah but uh, we are on a good way and but it's we are not finished yet so the, the women's game will uh, develop in the next years will you stay involved in the game can you kind of look ahead and can you see yourself staying involved in the game or is it adventure time for Nadine Angerer <laughs> I always had my adventure time <laughs> <laughs> no um, I, I'm pretty sure I will stay I love the sport um, and I, first of all, I will will have a break. That's for sure. Um, but um, I, I think I, I can be a really good goalkeeper coach, and, and that's uh, yeah. I, go, goalkeepers are my passion, so I, I like to watch goalkeepers and develop go, uh, the game of goalkeepers as well. And that's what I really want to do. And it doesn't matter where in Germany, in America. So I'm open for everything. I'm anticipating uh, Sunday's game. And the Riveters obviously chanting your name, but then the walk around the pitch afterwards, win, lose, or draw. Mm. I am thinking your heart is going to be in your throat a little bit as folks wave and say thank you. Uh, now when I just think about it, it's, I get a little bit emotional. And uh, yeah, we will see and I'm looking forward. <laughs> Thanks for everything you've done for the Portland Thorns and the game of soccer. We will see you on Sunday.